Good morning. A very spooky and eerie feeling this morning. I am in Dinawa Quarry in an area that I don't come to very often. Um, I'm sort of trying to plan to go around a couple of these top levels uh, and at the moment I'm up quite high and you can see I've got fog and mist rolling up the hill beside me sort of following me and it's quite eerie and spooky. Um, I do love this this silhouetted um, winch house. I really do like this. Uh, I've taken a few shots of it. I've got the camera on my capture clip so I'm pretty ready handy to go and look at the mist rolling over the hills over the background. How beautiful is that? Absolutely astonishing. So yeah, I'm just going to fill my boots again this morning, take a few photographs, handheld probably, you know, I've got a tripod with me, but let's see what happens. The light is, well, the light could change, things could happen, it's, uh, it's not raining, which is nice, but that fog, that mist just now was creeping up the hill behind me, very, very scary <laughs> and creepy. So yeah, good morning, let's get going, let's see what we can find this morning. I would like to add that I dropped my camera this morning, not impressed, I went to put it on my clip and I didn't clip it in properly and I was fumbling around and uh, I dropped it and my god I've just come to the edge and I'm a little bit high, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm just slightly high but the views are amazing, look at that little bit of fog that's just messing around down there and it's quite eerie down there and I really like that so I'm going to take a couple of quick shots of the buildings down there with a little bit of mist behind them because I think that looks a bit spooky and eerie. Uh, so yeah, let's get those couple done and let's see if we can make our way up across these levels. Uh, but I don't like doing it on my own, I must admit. But still, I'll do as much as I can safely. Definitely a bit of a walk, and it's good to get the air pumping through the lungs. And I've got to tell you, this looks pretty spectacular today. There's no actual colour hitting the hills, but this looks spectacular. It's calm, it's peaceful, it's just phenomenal. Absolutely beautiful. I think I want to cry. I feel emotional. I really do feel emotional. This is the most beautifulest I've ever seen Dinawa Quarry. At a location I've not been to before. I've got this little peak behind me, this little bit that they've left going down, down, down deep into the chasm have all been carved out by all these miners and look at this scenery behind me it is absolutely oh wow I do feel like I want to cry I feel I've, lately I've been really emotional and uh, <sighs> this is really nice this is really, really nice. 
<laughs> I must be stupid. <laughs> wow. Kidding you, this is just, this is the best I've ever seen this place. The mist is coming up around me. And it is, it's quite, it's quite eerie and quite scary. And, but oh my goodness, the way it's changing. And I've had time lapses running because I've had to time lapse this. This is the perfect situation to time lapse. You can see roughly what I can see with it coming and going. And I get to see it in full speed as well. At the moment now, the mountains beside me are just completely disappearing. It's, it's gradually creeping up over me and past me and even around me. I mean, even now behind me here, it is completely engulfed in, in complete mist. There's absolutely nothing to see up to get me. I can see it rolling and wrapping around me here. It really is an eerie, creepy feeling when it gets like this. Yeah, there's absolutely zero <laughs> zilch nana <laughs> behind me. Look at this, nothing, it's completely gone. So yeah, it's a, it is an absolutely phenomenal, amazing scene. And I was, I was really choked up. I, I put the video down, I just, I just, I've had a moment. I've had a moment. Oh my goodness. Oh, beautiful, amazing, fantastic. The photographs, dozens, dozens and dozens. It's just easy, point it a little bit. Mysterical mist, look at that there, mysterious, misty. There's a little shot right there. I've got the wrong lens on, so I can't pick the camera up and shoot, but let's get that, let's get that. Just, there's another shot. There's shots just changing and appearing. The way the fog moves around and the way little things pop out of this mist. And God, that is creepy, <laughs> but I'm loving it. So it is completely, completely fogged in now. I've got my phone up there doing a <coughs> hyperlapse, time lapse, and I hope it clears and reveals the mountains behind. I'm just enjoying my coffee, thanks to Mimes Reusable. This is a little 350 mil coffee jug. Uh, it's called Enjoy Freedom. So please do check out Jemima's website. She's updated her website, and if I remember, a link in the description um, she's got some amazing mugs and cups and drinking bottles and water bottles and she's trying to save the planet so please do give her a look um, I've got a video coming out if not already out with lots of different uh, varieties of her drinking cups it's perfect you can keep it in your pocket or in your bag and 350 mils just the right amount of coffee to have when you're in a place like this mm. That was fantastic. So, not a lot to see here, but I'm just hanging around. I'm not going anywhere because this is the best I've ever seen it by far. So many photos.
So I've got a little bit of a situation now. Um, I can't see anything. I was going to make my way around this um, th this gallery or ridge or level, um, but I can't see anything. So I don't know where I'm going. Uh, I know where I'm going, if you know what I mean, but I can't see where I'm going. And I don't particularly like that. Now, obviously, where I'm actually standing, I can see. So I can move a bit closer, maybe, and, and try it out and, and just move forward. But at the moment, I can't visually see far enough to see which direction I want to go in, or which is the safest route to go in. So I'm just hanging around here. I haven't moved. I'm rooted. Uh, this is clagged in now. This is pure fogged in. So we're definitely hanging around for a little while. So I'm just gonna pack me tripods away now. I've got my bag on my back. I finished my coffee. Uh, I've had the drone up in the air, uh, seriously up in the air, straight up. I've not been flying around, just gone straight up in the air and come back down uh, to see how high this is. And this clag goes up a long, long way. Uh, I did manage to get above the cloud or above the clag, uh, but it's not worth hanging around. If this is in for staying, I think it's really thick. So. I'm gonna have a wander into that fog there, just to have a look, there's a building just around there. I'm just gonna have a wander around there and see what the ground's like. And then I'm gonna take a walk up this pathway because it's a proper road. So I'm gonna take a walk up that main pathway and stay on that and just see where it goes. Um, see if I can get higher, you never know. But oh my God, did I have a moment or what? <laughs>
dead end. Just come to a dead end. Can't go through there. We've got scree and rock fall. So heading back towards the road. I got a couple of glimpses of clear and clearness, which was nice. It was what a different place this is when it's clear. I'm not gonna lie, it's a bit scary. Um, I really don't like being on my own and no one really knows where I am at the moment. So uh, yeah, I don't like being on my own on these places. Uh, but again, nothing ventured, nothing gained. God, that looks eerie behind me. <laughs> so let's go back to the road. Uh, maybe plod up a little bit further. This is what I've got below me. If I spin you around and show you. And it looks pretty spookalicious. Uh, you can see down there in front, if I just try and zoom in for you, you can see down there my visibility. I don't have a lot of visibility when you're looking forward and that looks pretty eerie looking forwards like that. The same as if I spin up to where I was going to go, somewhere in there. That's where I was going until I got to all that rock fall and I can't get past it. Not safely anyway. So maybe another couple of shots here because it looks pretty moody and uh, we'll keep going. I'm not kidding you. Am I being blessed or what? Look at this. This is the road I'm walking up at the moment, so it's totally safe. Now it's just parted a little bit, and I can see right down to Klimpadan, all the way down through the middle of this cloud and this fog. Now, this is the conditions where a miracle could happen. Up there behind me is the sun. Okay, so if that sun hits this fog behind me, I could get a Brock Inspector. If I do, I'll be crying again. <laughs> I've seen a few in my time and I've videoed a couple, uh, but they are rare, very rare. But I am a long, long way up. And the motivation for me keeping going is I'm near the top where like, I think it's like a plug hole type of thing. This is the electric mountain, so the water's funneled down. So I'm at the top, I wanna get up and just get near that and then I'll, 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 I'm, I'm done and I'm going to make my way back down the road, back down through the quarry. But this, this is truly amazing.
Well, I've made it. I've made it within reason. Um, I did actually want to get down to the end of one of the slopes, uh, one of the, the walkouts. You could slag heaps, um, but you've got to get down here. And I don't fancy going down here on my own. The fog is still coming and going. We've got beautiful sunlight over that side and then this is fog clearing through. It's clear over Anglesey now, I can see all the way. In fact, I can see Clangwin Island, I think. I think that's the lighthouse right over there in the distance. Um, absolutely see for miles and miles and miles. But this fog, this low cloud has absolutely made my morning, made my day. Now I was lonely this morning. I really, I really wanted to share this. This is an experience that was needed sharing. But honestly, this is <laughs> flipping phenomenal. I've had a great morning. I'm going to head back now. I've got a long way to walk back. Probably a, probably a mile or so, a couple of miles maybe. Um, and it's not as the crow flies either. You've got to go all the way around the zigzag. You've got to go, I've got to go back up onto this track by the fence where the railings and gates are. You can't get in there to see the sinkhole. Now I could put my drone up and have a little bit of a nose maybe i might do that just because i'm here just have a bit of a nose show you where i am and uh yeah the fog's clearing again now but it, it it's just phenomenal this is amazing absolutely amazing so i'm gonna love you and leave you thank you thank you for watching i'm sure you've enjoyed this one i'm sure it's been quite exciting and scary in places and just look at this fog this is what i mean this is what i mean let me just show you this i've got to show you what is, what's happening look at the way this is moving really is coming and going really really fast that's real time it just wafts in and then it wafts out and then it comes in from this side it's sort of it's clear down there where the mountains are now and it comes wafting down here down the valley but that's that's the speed it's moving and that's how amazingly fantastic it is and i'm still taking photos and i've just spotted another one right in that gap there that is an amazing photograph so i'm going to put the camera away end on a little bit of b-roll some maybe some drone footage a couple of photographs and uh ciao for now i want my coffee i need to get back to the van coffee and i want some lunch what what a morning <laughs> tada